After I got done testing the water resistance of the Etcher Lab field case, one of the questions I had was, is it impact resistant? On their website, it did not state anything about that. But the shell of it is sturdy and has a little bit of give. So I'm curious about how much of an impact it can absorb. So what I'm going to do is throw it out a second story window with Prismacolor Premier Not Premier glass colored pencils. And we'll see how they hold up. So before I throw it out the window, I'm going to go through and sharpen the pencils I intend to put in the case. I included a mix of centered and off-centered cores. I'm also including two pencils that have lines that look like they may be ready to crack. So this one here, this one here has a clear line in the paint on both sides indicating it may be ready to crack. And I'm also including a couple five millimeter leads in the case they come in to see if they hold up. So this should give us a good idea of how well this does. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to sharpen all of these and make sure that the LEDs are already not having any issues because let's face it, they're already problematic to begin with, which is why I'm using them. I love this. I want to sharpen my pencil, but my pencil wants to spin with the blade. It's lovely, right? Look, it's doing it again. Bit it in a different spot. Let's try it here. No. Uh, gotta love Prismacolor. Having an electric sharpener would probably fix that, but I don't want to use one. And I'm not buying one for just these pencils. Just noticed here, this one looks like it's got a crack in it. talking about cracks in these I do try to differentiate between just a seam and a seam that looks like it's not any good then I shall take my leads that are not broken if you can see them rolling around in there they are solid I'm just gonna throw them where I would typically throw them right in there close this up and give it a good toss all right so i got this thing set up maybe i can hit the target i got really bad aim but uh we will see how it does i'm hoping i don't hit the concrete and scratch it the hell up i should probably use a bigger blanket but i don't think i have one appropriate so not a uh, crappy one anyway i don't want to use a good one let's do this Um, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here we go. Alright, 
So I have been itching since yesterday to open this and see how it did. Now, amazingly, there are no marks on it. It hit the concrete and there's not a sign of it. This here is, you can see it in the video. There is a mark right here you can see. That is from when I sat it on the stucco that was outside the window. But as far as the concrete goes, did nothing to it. No marks. I can tell not the zippers, no nothing. Um, watching the video over a couple times, I do believe it hit like right up here and it fared really well. So let's open it and see how everything did. Well, as you can see, nothing is as I left it, but all the points are intact. Even the ones I sharpened down to a needle point are intact. Doesn't even look like the lead's broke. And part of the reason I did this is because I was curious about, you know, it's a field case. So what if you're drawing on, you know, your second floor balcony or something if you have one? Yeah, we got one broken lead. So out of four, I'd say that is not bad. Okay, the pencils now. Let's pull these out. And we're going to check the points. And then we're going to inspect the pencils, see if they cracked. Because if you remember from setting this up, we had three cracked pencils. So if we have any more than that, we know why. So let's sharpen these, see if they can sharpen, and if they sharpen, it's at your lab will definitely have my backing, at least this product, because it has done an amazing job thus far. Alright, so this is one of the ones that looked like it was going to crack, and if you remember from my part one of my Prismacolor review, this one's spinning now, the sharpener was actually cracking pencils that weren't cracked. So I don't know what this is. Alright, so this one wasn't doing this before. So I can't really. Oh, that's got some. That's the crack. I noticed anyone that was cracked or was on its way to cracking had a lot of resistance like that. Yeah, and I'm not going easy on these pencils at all when I'm running them into paper. If there's any defect with the core where it's going to break, I want it to show its face. Now, I'm doing a very surface level thing here where I am not sharpening down to the center of the pencil. So, the center of the cores could be cracked. But, honestly, I'm doubting it. Second to last, this one does look like it has a crack forming in it. And you can feel it. When you're sharpening, you can feel them blades grabbing it. This blue, when I initially initially sharpened it, it was deteriorating a little bit. That's yeah, that broke right off. It's a very brittle color. I don't know if it's just this pencil or this color all together, but it is brittle. Alright. There. You have it. I got pencil dust all over me. Um, this. The Etcher Lab field case it is the smallest in their line of carrying products. I wholeheartedly recommend this 
from the fact of how water resistant it is to the fact that it can take an impact and protect prismas of all things. It's freaking impressive. On top of the fact that only one out of four leads broke. Kind of curious about what would have happened with uh, three mil, but you know what? If you're looking at it and you got the money for it, don't hesitate. Buy this thing. Freaking awesome.